Hello guys, my name is Diego Pacheco and this is another Java video. So uh, today I want to talk about uh, immutables value specifically. Um, this is a framework that gonna help us to build fluent DSLs for immutable uh, values. Uh, it's pretty interesting and um, it can save you some uh, typing. So let's uh, get started. So let me open my idea here, first of all, and then let's take a look. So the first thing you need to do is to add the dependency. Uh, in my pawn.xml here, I have the dependencies to org immutables value. And then I'm gonna use the version, uh, this one here, by now is the latest, but if there's a new version, you can upgrade. Um, then um, you want to define an abstract uh, class, right? So I'm gonna define um, a class here and it needs to be abstract. I'm calling, um, because you, you don't want anyone to instantiate this directly. So that's why therefore it is abstract. So I'm calling full bar value and um, you define methods, uh, abstract methods. So I'm gonna define a full method where I wanna int, a bar method where I want a string, a bus where I want a list of integers and a crux, um, a set of longs, all right? Then um, once you just need to add um, this single annotation called value.immutable and add on the top of your abstract class. Then you just compile this code. Um, and as you can realize here, uh, I have JUnit dependence. I have um, the plugin with JUnit and Surefire. So I can hook JUnit 5 and Maven testing reports. Um, I have the exact plugin to run the, the main app uh, in the console, but that's it. I don't have any specific plugin for immutables, I just have a dependency. And that's the cool thing about it, right? You just need a dependence and one line notation. And then what will happen is when you compile the project, um, immutables will generate a class for you. So you can see here in target classes that um, it generates a class called immutables, uh, immutable uh, full bar value. Uh, and is extending uh, the class uh, full bar value that I uh, defined and show you guys right here, right? So uh, it, it generate all the fluent uh, DSL for you. Um, and it's very uh, interesting. It saves you um, a fair amount of typing, I would say. Um, so let's test this, right? So I have a, like a main application here. Uh, and, and it's really a DSL, right? So I just say immutable uh, full bar value dot um, builder, right? And, and then I got a builder. Uh, and then with this builder, I say dot foo dot bar, remember foo integer bar string, add bus, which uh, if you remember, bus was a list of um, integer, right? But you can see here, I'm not in creating a list, I'm just passing numbers. Because if you look, um, at first, it was very smart and ready to create a var args for us, right? So this save us uh, more typing. Um, you you can pass a, a inter inter interable or you know a, a list itself, but this is the cool thing about this: the the library is very uh, smart, uh, let's say. And then um, for then, then I'm building here, right? And and then I get I get my inter my abstract class back. Uh, then then I can call the methods. I'm getting a foo, uh, and also I'm getting uh, the bus. And and I can run this, and you can see uh, it works. See. So that's it for today's. I hope you guys like it. See you next time. Bye.